Hello and good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to carry on with the the series of Kent Coasts, um, which I'm just doing at the moment and uh, enjoying every minute of it. Um, but today I thought we'd head towards Dungeness and give you an insight uh, into that location. It's a really lovely place and uh, I hope you enjoy um, joining me as we look around. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. Where you're going, you can rest your head. Where you're going, brightness looks. but they're really, really quaint. We'll have a bit more of a look around them uh, later. But as you can see, it's like a, a beachfront, if you like, and it's just got the odd home here and there. And most of them are woods. So it's a pretty place in the uh, when the sun's out. It's got some old boats that strewn across the the flats there. Get along, get a hand, sleep really out the way little homes, and uh, I bet in the winter months they really get lashed with the winds and the rain. It's so flat here. Um, it's kind of area Go straight out to sea. You make out a distance a lighthouse there. This is actually the end of the line here for the Romney Hive and uh, Dimchurch Railway. Um, so obviously yeah it runs from Romney Hive up to Dimchurch with quite a few stops in between. Uh, a really obviously it's a miniature railway so but it's a really uh, nice thing to take uh, in the spring and summer months. Just get off at each stop and have a look round. I know there's a uh, a museum, a transport museum, I think, en route at one of the stations, and yeah, it's a really nice thing to do on a summer's day. And here we've got a little uh, fresh local fish, salmon, and we're coming up round now towards the the newer lighthouse. We'll uh, I'll show you the old one uh, in a little while. Um, when you get off the train station, which is there, it's just across the way from the, the miniature rail station at Dungeness. Uh, we've got an old lighthouse, which you can get in from time to time and climb to the top, um, which is directly opposite to Dungeness Nuclear Power Station. As you see, it's a really lovely place, it really is. It's uh, quite desolate, a really quiet place to live, I would imagine. I don't know if people live here all year, year round, I'm sure they do. And you can see the, the new lighthouse there in front of you. Did you make out in the distance there, that's the uh, the older lighthouse. Really beautiful. And behind that, unfortunately, is uh, Dungeness Power Station. So, uh, yeah, it takes away some of the attractiveness of the lighthouse. Just seeing that old brick. 
monstrosity behind it, but uh, hey, this is where you live, that's what you're used to. That's that, it's a really unusual place, really barren, but really nice. And we'll drive down this road here, which takes you around to of the station, and there's a restaurant on that side as well. Um, might be able to see the train once we get inside, I think there's one one in there, I think there is, so I'll take a, a video of that and say there's a lighthouse just there, the black brick, and we'll go into the car park, so it's a nature reserve here as well. The, it's the end of the line restaurant is the name of the, the place here. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, run into Dungeness and uh, we'll uh, move over to the other camera now. I say welcome to the end of the line at Dungeness restaurant. See there as we pan around, there's the power station itself, the nuclear power station. I'll say the uh, the old lighthouse, which looks beautiful in the sunlight. An unusual roundhouse there also. So if you make out in the distance there, the Britannia Inn and the old lighthouse in the distance. We'll, uh, we'll take that look, look at that in a little while. There's actually no train in at the moment but we'll come back to that. Maybe there'll be one in in a bit. I don't think they're seasonal. I think they uh, run all year round. Apologies for the uh, the wind noise. It's uh, as I said, it's really flat here, so you probably constantly get a uh, wind blowing through these marshes. As you can see, it's, it's a uh, national nature reserve. There's a bit of information there on the. Uh, Marsh itself. We'll have a, a walk along the front here and just see what's about. Let's have a little look over here. It's actually closed for 2022 reopens again in spring 2023 so yeah it's uh, towards the end of November so it just gives you some idea on what time of year it is beautiful day there's a bit there on the lighthouse itself it looks like the uh, first beacon was put here in uh, 1615 during James I's reign. It was replaced in 1635. It looks like this one was built closer to the sea in 1792. Yeah, feel free to pause that and uh, have a read. So that's the light house itself. Beautiful. It's obviously popular for dog walkers as well around here, unfortunately. And this one's actually called uh, the Roundhouse, funny enough. 
unusual place. It'll be interesting to uh, have a look on the inside. It's a beautiful calm day though, in amongst the wind obviously, but uh, it really is a lovely day. And it's got some really unusual buildings. Don't even make them out there. Probably very futuristic, futuristic even in that day. I remember this one, this is a, an artist's house, and I've got a studio, which is open to the public, with paintings for sale. I think there's a few of these artists here, I'm sure there's one further up as well. We make that kind of dome out there. It's obviously some form of a... Uh, Probably a greenhouse. I say these really are interesting little properties, all wood. Probably only electric, but you can see everyone's got a log burner. It must get blooming cold in the uh, the winter months. Especially when the snow comes, it must drift and uh, quite deep. It's so open. <clears throat> Lovely little place. They're so simple, but they uh, they are pretty. Mossy cut. That's an unusual name, isn't it? Mossy cut. Unusual door with a porthole. Another strange one. Boots hanging up there. Look at those. Can make them out. All those rods and paraphernalia. If I remember rightly, I think that one's a artist as well, and I think that's a gallery. Some of these look like they haven't uh, been lived in for many a year. In need of some repair. Well done. Dick. So there's a cyclist here, being a dick. Turn you in. Just chips and pizza. We've got somewhere to eat on uh, this part of Dungeness. <laughs> that unusual place. It looks like it hasn't been uh, lived in for many a year. I'm sure what it's made of. Yes, yeah, uh, empty inside. Funny looking little place. Seems such a waste just being left there to uh, to rot. Then we can make out some the funny building over there. No idea what it is, it's like a a tower. Um, it's climbable but there's nothing on it. It's not as if it's a radar station or anything like that. So it's a, and it's got kind of fencing all the way around it. Very strange place. And again, there's a, a building now. I remember that being built a few years ago. And they've kind of uh, tried to put fencing all around it again. And there's a dickhead cyclist. Silly old sausage. Anyway, 
anyway, that's the uh, the boardwalk as they call it. Walk down to the uh, the seafront there. I see some immigrants landing on the beach. I've heard they land here anyway because it's just an open area for them to to get up onto, and they just disappear basically. I want to show you this lighthouse, it's quite unusual in design. There's like a spiral walkway at the bottom there, I don't even make that out. Which leads up to a doorway. And also you can climb up to the, the tower itself. But it's an unusual design. Very prominent. Let me sweep round here. So everyone's different. Mascot. The name of that one. A nice old boat. Sitting on the front lawn there. Postman must have a hell of a job finding these places. I don't think they've got numbers, they've all got they've all got names. I suppose if you're a new poster you'll uh, have a lot of trouble finding these places. So there's a better view of a better view of that walkway around there so as it goes around. Again, some interesting little cottages, I suppose you'd call them. All makeshift in a way. Whether people actually live in these or not, I don't know. Possibly. It's quite a new build. They all have to, I think they all have to fit in pretty much to the existing chalet stroke huts. Obviously all have to be uh, single story I would imagine. I suppose the way the wind gusts through here, they have to be kind of lower. Such a lovely day. Surprised more of these properties don't kind of invest in wind and uh, solar in such a great location for it. Let's say there's just some unusual buildings. Look at that one. Looks like it's just all concrete blocks. Very simple. And what do they have in the front garden? An old railway cart. Beautiful. Some of them are cleaner than others, some of uh, a load of rubbish in the front of them. Some of just look like concrete bunkers. an interesting place. This is a 
a nice one here. Again, it's really unusual. It's got a large glassed area there on the back, but to the front of it, it's just got really small, narrow windows, and it's all black. way there so unusual so you go through the porchway and then there between the house and uh, the porchway itself is just a glass canopy So there's an unusual one over there. Can you tell me what you see Looks like the back end of it. It's got uh, like like church windows. Am I one of those crazy people? There's definitely some uh, empty places here. Found this long pathway heading down towards the beach. The gate was unlocked, said the Environment Stay Agency. So we'll have a walk down here. Watching out for number one. You gotta slow down, look around. Day is just a day Some fishing boats tomorrow. Sitting on the sand over or sitting on the, the beach I should say over there With Some shipping containers Probably used just for storage of nets Such an interesting place. So I view shipping containers there, um, probably converted them. I could see a shepherd's hut there with stairs up, which is joined to those shipping containers, so they're probably converted into something. Like a drive up here, actually. You can rest your it's nice, to, nice to have a walk. There's a better view there of the uh, power station and the old lighthouse leading around to the new lighthouse. Structure there is full. Easy now. Doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Get along, get ahead, so I've got quite a lot of fishermen heavy, out here today. Just I wonder what all these cars were. Right?
Morgan won't be out here. Don't know whether this leads back to where we were, but we'll, uh, we'll walk around and see where we get to. Out in the distance there. Three sixty. Where we are. The road came to an end, so I'll have to uh, cut across the beach. I think. Across here, and rather than walking back, Look at that, sir. Do you want to see the walkway? Beautiful as this place is. I don't know if I'd uh, want to live next to a nuclear power station. Have a walk down this boardwalk and have a look at the uh, the beachfront. It's a bit sketchy. These old boards. down on the beach you've got to park up there and walk down just to enter the, the house not so good in bad weather Coast Guard boat out in the distance. Probably out fishing migrants out the water again, no doubt.
It's a bit rough today, so maybe it'll keep them in France. But it's a sad indictment when you've got them going out and just fishing these people out of the water and bringing them in. And we'll sit on this bench, I think, while we're here. Yeah, it's uh, Christine's bench. Thank you, Christine. Here we go, as we can make out best. It's actually a watchtower, I think. That, that funny building I spoke about with the tower. It certainly looks more like a watchtower, which is probably what it was in the past. Maybe it had a radar on top originally. Looks abandoned now, I'm not sure if it is or not, but uh, let's say if we look along the, the front here, you see fishermen. All the way down into the distance. Not sure what they're hoping to catch. Are you sure like that? So it's a beautiful day. Just see, uh, say tankers and ferries in the distance there. Look like they're moored up; they're not going anywhere at the moment. But yeah, a really beautiful day and a pleasant November indeed. The old black light as to the left, this is the one I showed you, is a grade two listed building and was opened by the Prince of Wales in 1904. The replacement black and white light house to your right was officially brought onto operation in 1961 and was automated in 1991 so it doesn't have a, a lights housekeeper anymore. Uh, 
enjoyed that look around of uh, Dungeon S. It was a really interesting place to visit and have a look around and hopefully you got an idea of the, the little cottages that are spread around there and the lighthouses etc. So it's a, as I say, it seems to attract quite a lot of artists down there. I think I saw about four properties that uh, said they had little galleries to show. Um, so it's certainly worth walking around those as well while you're down there. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, this is just a continuation of a series of uh, Kent coastlines. Um, it's an enjoyable, well I'm enjoying it anyway, looking around these places and uh, I hope you are too. Uh, so please join me again on the next one. Um, I hope you like and please subscribe. Um, I always uh, like if someone subscribes and maybe likes the video. Um, it motivates me to do more anyway. So again, thanks for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Goodbye.